Well, continuing on in our series about software to be used uh, by the DIT and the data manager, we want to look at a, a couple of very robust onset battle-tested pieces of software. They're going to be the core of what you do on a daily basis. And that's backing up these assets coming off the cameras. Now, the rigors of a daily professional set needs a piece of software that's pretty flawless, pretty easy to use. And it'll save you time. And the first one we're going to look at here is Yoyota. Yeah, Yoyota. <laughs> Go figure. One of the key features that we really need in a piece of software is its ability to save you time, because time is something we really are short on, on production sets. The software needs to be rock solid, and it needs to adapt to your workflow, not your workflow adapting to it. In this segment, all I want to do is introduce you to Yoyota's workflow, uh, the, some of the tools that are inside of there, and how the interface works. All right, Yoyota's a big program, spoiler alert. It's deep and it's wide. So first, let's jump into the underpinnings of the program, the workflow. And for Yoyota, this is where the magic is. If we look at a basic block diagram of Yoyota's workflow, we find one of the bits of genius that's in this design. And it's very much like the nonlinear editors we use. Let's take DaVinci Resolve, for example. One of the first things you do is you set up a project in the project manager. Inside that one project, you can have many timelines. Now this one has more than 20. Yoyota works the same way. Their project is called a collection. And what would be timelines in a nonlinear are referred to as projects. The functionality of these are quite similar. Now, let's say you're working on a series of seasonal commercials for a retailer, Home Depot, for example. In Yoyota, you could create a collection named HD for Home Depot, dash Xmas for Christmas, dash 2020. The production wants to shoot 10 commercials for their Christmas campaign. For each commercial shoot, you would create a separate project inside of that collection. This keeps you well organized from the start. Now, once you have the collection and project set, then you create the settings for the project. This will contain where you want the files to be backed up, how many backups, and how the file path will be structured, the style of the backup report, and more. Once the settings are done, you'll bring in a camera mag into the project. Click on the arrow or start copy. The software will create the checksum, copy the file, then verify the duplicated files. The beauty of this program is this concept of collections and projects. Now there are screens that you will step through that will help you set these up. Once set up, you can handle multiple cameras over multiple days or multiple projects pretty much effortlessly with very little interaction on your part. Now, when you first open this program up, it's like a lot of other programs that we run into in our business, and it may not be the easiest to figure out. So let's spend a couple of minutes here looking at the open screen or the home screen, and we'll even set up just a really quick backup, and then we're gonna dig down a little bit deeper. When you launch the program, you'll get a home window. All other windows link off of this screen. On the left side is the media list. Again, there's similarities to most editing software that you've used. Mounted drives will appear here. The list is blank. Nothing has been mounted. Using the plus icon, you can open a list of all drives and media connected to your computer. Now I'm going to select this camera card, A007, and click the Add Selected. Yoyota will scan this camera card and index everything on it that the program understands. So any and all media like audio and various formats of still images and files, etc. It gives you a list in the middle column. In the right column will be the destination drives, where the files from A007 will be copied. Now we need to set up the destination. You can do this two ways. Using the plus icon, it'll help you navigate to a pre-made folder on your backup drive, or you can simply drag that folder onto the destination column. Now the key here is that you must create those folders that you're going to back up to ahead of time, which is fine, 
But there is a better way to do this if you're going to handle many cards from the camera crew. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. First, we need to set up a second backup location. Again, simply drag that folder onto the column. Click on the start arrow and the program starts backing the files up. Nice thing about this program, while it's working on this camera card, you can add more to the queue. Remember what I mentioned about saving time? This is just one of them in the program. Next, we're going to go into the power tools that are inside of Yoyota. Now, I'm not going to go into all of them and I'm not going to go very deep because we'd be here all day. But I want to show you how a program like this will help you stay above water on a really busy show. Let's say a reality show where eight to 10 cameras shooting simultaneously is not uncommon. All the while, absolutely maintaining proper file and folder structure on your backup drives. Clicking on the folder icon opens up the window that helps you set up the collections and projects. Now think of the collection as the show you're working on and the project is the episode part of the production. For example, let's say you're managing the assets for a Christmas commercial like we've talked about before for Home Depot. This is their Christmas campaign. Now, the Christmas commercial campaign is that collection. The individual commercials are the projects. And so the first commercial would be called, let's say, Red on Red. That's the project. Notice how the job column updates. You visually know what that card is part of. The destination for the production is next. Remember, in the quick way, you had to build that destination folder structure first. But Yoyota can do all of that for you. Let's remove the first destination. And all you need to know is the physical drive the backup is headed to. And use the plus icon and then select a drive. Click on the Edit Paths drop-down, and the Setup window opens again. Click on the Destination tab. Here's the Magic Asset File and Folder Structure Building Tool. Simply put, you click on a button, and it creates a folder on any destination drive. So click on the Collection button, and the master folder with the collection name will be created at the root level of the destination drive. Next, we'll add the project folder, then the date, then the camera. Notice the destination folder column. The folder structure is displayed, easy to determine if you got it right. Once you start the backup, the file structure is created, and it looks like this. Now add a new card and Yoyota will auto-increment that card number, and in this case, 8008, or you can do it manually if the cards are out of order. On the right side of this window is the Reports tool. We won't spend time going over this, but here you can stipulate the format of the backup reports. They're called manifests inside of Yoyota. The location where those are saved and the program can even email the report to whoever you need to have it sent to. And this program does a lot more. And in fact, one of the features that you're going to find yourself using a lot is a searchable database. That's right. At the bottom of the main screen is a little book icon. Click on that and it will open up the searchable database of everything you've backed up. It'll tell you what it was, where it went, what day, and how many times it was backed up, and a lot more information. This is a very handy tool that you're going to end up using a lot on a, on a big production. Another integrated feature is being able to do LTO tape backups. Now, backing up to tape um, is, is inexpensive. The LTO machine isn't, but the tapes are. They hold a couple of terabytes of data, and productions are asking for these more and more as time goes on. This is becoming a vaulted storage, as they call it, deep storage, uh, because they know hard drives can fail, but we know that tape can last up to 30 years on a shelf. 
go into your closet and see if you still have VHS tapes that'll play. Bet you do, all right? But wait, there's more like the infomercial says. If you look at the top bar in Yo Yoda, there's some other icons up there. Think of Yo Yoda as the core of a suite of tools. And these other tools are things that you are going to use deeply on so many productions. Those links are already in the program. The Yo Yoda server module allows you to sync to a server or cloud storage in real time. LTFS is the LTO tape management module. Transcode does just that. This module will manage transcoding dailies and the files for editors. It will even add a camera LUT. Conform is the key to reconnecting files and clips in a timeline back to the backed up camera original files. So as you see, it's a suite of tools and you can add these tools as you need them. Now, something that's kind of interesting about the company of Yoyota is that they're kind of bucking the trend of how software is owned. It's not monthly, it's not weekly, it's not subscription-based, yearly. It's a one-time price. You, it's a permanent license. And so far, Yoyota has never charged for an upgrade, and they've had some serious, very helpful upgrades. So Yoyota is one of several pieces of software that we're going to be looking at over the next few episodes. So you're going to see a variety of interfaces and tools and price ranges and features uh, so you can decide on which one might work best for you. And as always, you know the drill. Hit the like button and subscribe so you get the latest information. And down below, by the way, is a link to Yoyota's website where you can download um, a fully functional trial version and give it a shot. And if this is something you think you'd like to delve into and use this piece of software, then we have a full course just on Yoyota and its power tool features and just about every setting in there on Video Mantis. Now, that link is down below, as well as links to other things from LearnDIT. And as always, hope to see you on set.